Uh, All right, so we're, it if it's well, destroyed. It's, it's still, we're checking on it. Let me show you. Straight out of the thrift yeah. store, looking for toys yeah. galore. My name is Burf, and this is my Woo. turf. I'm straight out of the thrift yeah. store. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf, and I'm back in Louisville again today. So we were just here on Friday. It's now Saturday, and I'm at Thrift Giant, heading in here, but that's not why I'm here. I'm not here for thrifting today, although I'm gonna do some thrifting. I'm actually here to hit up a toy store. I believe it's called Comics, Toys, and Games, or Games, Toys, and Comics, or something like that. Um, I've only ever been here one other time. It was over the summer. I think it was back in July. And they had a very large, like 18 inch in humanoid Metlar in there. They wanted like 178 bucks for it. I didn't have the money at the time, but, but, Last night, Nicole and I went to Oklahoma and we played the slots at the casino, at the Windstar Casino. And we had some good luck, some good birthday luck. So as you know, it's Nicole's birthday weekend and uh, we won, we won a little kitty cash. So she won big, I won big, and I'm taking part of my money and I am gonna buy that Metlar if it's still on the shelves. Now that's the only thing, it's been like three, four months. Chances are it's not there, but it is a more expensive item. So it could still be there, just like over at Jaden's toy store, like some of the bigger, more expensive things he has, they're still in the store, like nobody's bought them and they've been there for months and months and months. So I'm kind of hoping that same situation's going on over here, but they don't open till like 10 a.m. So I figured I'd hit up Thrift Giant and Goody Will, see what kind of goodies they got, see if they stocked up with anything new since yesterday and make maybe make a few extra scores. So let's keep our fingers crossed. As always, Thrift Gods, be good to me today. Oh my gosh, what a gorgeous morning. 66 degrees. It's a little overcast, just the way I like, you know, where the sun isn't just beating down on you. Got some cool weather clothes on with the, you know, the long sleeves, the thermal. I love this time of year, so. All right, well, let's head in here and let's do this. All right, well, let's see if we got anything new since yesterday. I think this mech suit thing is new, but we don't want that. Yeah, what else do we got? Oh, this is new. This wasn't here yesterday either. It's a big old grave digger. <laughs> Check this out. We got toilet golf. <laughs> oh my gosh. What's this Wings of Glory? The official story of the Air Force. Oh, it's like a DVD set. Uh, we got some little, little drum sets here, little bongos. And who do we have here? Oh, is that like into it? It's cool, but it's only selling for like 10 bucks. So they're trying to charge 13 for it. So I ain't getting it. Hey, check this out. It's a slingshot, a wooden slingshot. It's from Alaska. I guess it's like a, like a elk or a moose, huh? Like a bull moose, like a bullwinkle. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Kind of dig that. <laughs> it's fun. Hey, check out this piece. This is pretty cool. It's actually a light. So it lights up, you put batteries in the back of it. I only want seven bucks for it. I don't know how much it's going for. I couldn't find it listed anywhere, but it is a really neat piece. And we got this Hello Kitty like radio station center. You can plug your microphone. Oh, it's like a, you can plug your microphone in there and I guess maybe sing along. It's cool. Man, part of me wants to get this, but then part of me is like, okay, there's pieces missing back here. This is just like straight up, you know, busted off. 
It's from 2005. It's made by Toy Biz. I haven't been able to find it on eBay as far as any of them being sold or even listed. Oh no, man. I mean, there's some fun things I guess you could probably do with it if you wanted to customize a broken vehicle like this, but I don't know if I want to put the time and effort into it, you know, but it's, it's cool though. It's really cool. And we're going to put this guy back. He's got no price tag on him. So he's just going to hang out over here in electronics. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and put it back right next to old Cappy. All right. Well, no luck here. So we got busted. But um, what we're going to do next is we're going to head on over to Goodwill, see what kind of goodies they got over there. And by that point in time, when we're finished up, Comics, Toys and Games or whatever the store's name is, should be open. I think they open at 10. So let's go see what's at Goodie Will. We do have some new stuff. We got an X-Wing pilot here. And then what's this? Deluxe home appliances. All right. It's like for dollhouse stuff. Let's see, anything else? Any other goodies on the shelves? Well, it looks like we got a Hulk back here. Kind of cool. All right, what do we got down here? Looks like we got a big box of bugs. And then over here, what do we got? Let's see, 12 3D fossil puzzles. So, I guess you put these together and then make a little dinosaur or something, huh? And we got a Pop-Ups Lollipop Frosty the Snowman like the lollipop dispenser thingy. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. All right, well, that's about it. So let's go check the glass case. Oh, check this out. We got the Dark Knight Trilogy box set. There's Bruce Lee, Game of Thrones. And Raggedy Ann. Oh, there's a Garfield book. Yeah. Might actually pick this up. Uh, they only want $1.91 for it. Yeah, I'll definitely grab this. All right, well, we scored a 1978. We got a little vintage in the house. 1978 Garfield, his fourth book. And uh, we'll jump in the car and look through it a little bit do a little show and tell all right well here we go it says the most phenomenal fabulous feline in america is back again in living color the fourth garfield treasury by jim davis let's flip through here a little bit man i always loved garfield as a kid i love him as an adult too been uh i've watched his halloween special twice now you can do a search for that on YouTube, Garfield Halloween. It's a great episode. I don't know why they don't air that on TV anymore. It was on every Halloween when I was a kid. And now it's just like, you know, Charlie Brown, The Great Pumpkin, which I also love that cartoon as well. But I've never seen the Garfield on TV around Halloween time, his Halloween episode since I was a kid. Anyway, this book is absolutely fantastic. All right, well, it's like quarter till 10, so it'll probably take us like 10 minutes to drive over to Comics, Toys, and Games, if I'm getting that right. I keep saying that, but I'm not sure exactly if it's like Comics, Toys, and Games, or Toys, Games, and Comics, or Games, Comics, and Toys. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, we'll head that way, and let's keep our finger crossed that the Metlar is still available the inhumanoid metlar i would love to have that piece so uh, if it's not i may look around and pick up some other vintage stuff but that's my goal okay so it's called 
comics, cards, and games. But they do have vintage toys in there as well. I gotta go over here and see. I'm not sure they open at 10. I think they open at 10. We'll find out real quick. Damn it, they don't open until 11 o'clock. And I don't wanna wait an hour. <laughs> uh. That blows, man. That really blows. <laughs> Well, I guess we could go hit up Ollie's. That's just across the street. So we could go hit them up. I know that they're getting some new Christmas stock in. So they might have some cool stuff on the shelves. That would help us kill a little time. Not sure it'll help us kill the whole hour, but it'll help kill a little time. Cause I don't really want it. Cause it's a 20 minute drive back home and then a 20 minute drive back. And, uh, and there goes the comics cards and toys crew it they're going into the store now probably to have their store meeting like part of me wants to go over there and knock on the door and say hey i know you don't open until 11 but can i come in and check and see if you got this one toy on the shelf but i don't want to be that guy i don't like those kind of people but that's what i want to do but I'm not gonna do it. All right, well, we're gonna hit up Ollie's and see if we can kill an hour. Just cause I don't wanna drive all the way back home. All right, let's head in here and see what they got. All right, well, let's see what they got over here. They've got some Power Rangers. I never actually saw this guy in stores. He also has some legends. We got Invincible Iron Man and some Star Wars. Yeah, not too interested in those. And we've got some power players. And what else we got here? We got some of these uh, six figure starter kit hero clicks. And then we've got Avengers Hulk. And we do have some like mini transformers. They look like they actually transform. Those are cool. And got some Overwatch. What else? We got Captain America. We got a couple of Spider-Mans far from home over here. Hey, here's another one of those power players. I actually considered actually getting these guys. I actually wanted that one and this one when they were at Target, but I never picked them up. I think I'm gonna go ahead and snag these two. We do have a reaction figure here for $3.99. It's Tomorrow, Tomorrowland, Young Frank. And who's this Spider-Man down here? I was kind of hoping that would be maybe a little cooler one than that. I don't really like that one. And we got the Lady Ghostbusters over here. Looks like she's the only one left. Last time I was here, which was months and months ago, they had about six or seven of these. Looks like they might have gotten scooped up. What do we got here? Wonder Woman, DC Comics. This isn't Wonder Woman, but it's from the movie Wonder Woman. I kind of like that head right there. Is that like a, is that a hat he wears or something? Oh yeah, there it is. Oh, that's for like maybe the Build-A-Figure. I guess there's a build a Oh yeah, there's a Build-A-Figure that comes with him. Well, it doesn't look like my Ollie's is as stacked up as some of the other Toy Hunter videos that I've seen where their Ollie's was just filled to the brim with all kinds of like Black Series and Marvel Legends and stuff. Even my brother reported in Pennsylvania that the Ollie's there that he went to was pretty stocked up. So it doesn't look like that's happened here in Texas yet. So I'm gonna pay for these figures. Uh, we'll go out to the car, do a little show and tell. And then we still got about 30 minutes, 40 minutes to kill <laughs> before the doors open over at games, cards, and comics. All right, let's pay for this. Okay, so check this out. I was just about to head up to checkout and 
I looked over here in the shelves and I found this Jumanji, this elephant with this, uh, the rock figure. But the reason I'm gonna get this, I only want nine bucks for it, 10 bucks. Um, I just recently picked up that Weimer toy uh, from the 1958 film, 20 Million Miles to Earth. And there's a scene in that movie where the Weimer is fighting an elephant in the streets. So I'm gonna get this just for that so I can take some photographs for my Instagram. And check it out, it even makes noise. How cool is that? All right, well, we got a little Jumanji. We got some power players. Let's go take a look at them. All right, well, like I said, the whole reason I got this was for the elephant. So I can take some cool photographs for my Instagram account, which is 80s Toys Rock. Rock is spelled R-O-C, not R-O-C-K like this guy. But yeah, this thing is pretty awesome. Like I said, it does. So it does make noise. What's the back of the box look like? Oh yeah, see, I've got that rhino. I found him in a thrift store. I don't have that hippo though. I'll have to keep my eye out for him. Really cool. And then I also picked up Sarge from Power Players. I have no idea what Power Players is, but I do think these figures are really cool. Like really cool. I'm really digging them a lot. Um, there's a whole group of them down here, but yeah, so this is Sarge. He comes with like a backpack and a weapon. He definitely has several points of articulation. He's got a little cut under his eye. He's got that chiseled jaw. Yeah, that's cool. And then we got Masco. It looks like you can swap his head out with this other sculpt as well, which is neat. Um, they did have barbarian in there as well just wasn't wanting to get him today so but yeah these are the power players figures all right well it's almost 10 30 so we killed just about 30 minutes we're gonna head back across the street and hopefully the inhumanoid metlar is available for us to purchase fingers crossed man fingers crossed <laughs> All right, well, I'm sitting here in the parking lot right outside the door and I just saw somebody walk out. So I don't think he's an employee. So I think I'm gonna go up to the door and just see if maybe they're open. Maybe they opened a little early, you know? They're just, you know, mom and pop owned so they can really open the doors anytime they want. So let's head in there and see what's up. Okay, so, well, they are open. So let's see if we can find this Metlar. Okay, now the last time I was here, he was right here on this shelf, but we'll look around just in case he got moved. But, ah, oh, check that out. That's that motorcycle we see at Goodwill all the time that has the broken handlebar. But this is what it actually looks like. Oh, we got a Mr. T. That's cool. That's real cool. I've been wanting one of these. And we got Blackface Grizzlor. And we got Tila, Evil Lynn, Stinkor, Skelly, Mechanic. I'm digging that Rambo lunchbox too. There's the ET lunchbox. Oh, they got some really nice stuff in here. Some California raisins. Oh, and this is like uh, Silverhawks. Yeah. It's like Tomahawk, right? It's pretty cool. I didn't even know they made this. And we've got some turtles in a mech suit. Motorized crawling action. Hell Patrol attack crawler. That's cool. And we've got some Smurf glasses. Oh, check out this G.I. Joe. Believe, is that Sigma? Yeah, that's Sigma 6. That's awesome. Oh yeah, actually, I've got that. Check out that Java. That is well done. And here we've got some vintage Star.
Star Wars over here. Lots of cool Spawn figures. Here's some more down here. And we got some Street Fighter. Oh, this guy's cool. Yeah, I like that. Oh my god, Robin Hood. Prince of Thieves still on the cards. And we got these Big Trouble in Little China. Here's the Kurt Russell figure. Oh yeah. I'll check these out. Wow. Oh, that's like a two pack. Oh yeah. Look at this guy. Oh, look at this one. Come on down. Get a little better look at him. Super sculpt. Oh, we got an Edward Scissor hands. <laughs> awesome. And then here, I guess, is that clown guy that I bought recently. I didn't know he did all that. Wow, I'll have to check that out. Is there... I don't know if my, my guy's stomach opens up like that and maybe there's something inside it, a creature inside. I don't know, I'll have to check it out. And this biker scout is just fantastic. And who do we got here? Jack the Ripper, huh? Nice. I didn't even know they made this figure. My buddy Keith Goodwin would like this. It's a 1976 Mego Captain America with his car. Check out these Looney Tunes. We got Speedy Gonzalez, huh? 1970. 40. Doesn't seem like a bad price for that. And then who's over here? This is Banana Mouse. Never heard of this guy. And then we got some Porky Pig. And Sylvester the Cat, but the Speedy Gonzalez. I really like this. So I think at the very least, I'm gonna pick up this Triclops. He's at least got his, his breastplate, you know. There's another one in here that doesn't. There he is. But this one does, so I think I'm gonna snag him. So check this guy out. He's actually made out of, made out of rubber. The thing, right? Yeah, I ain't no pet rock. Man, I, man, I think I'm gonna get that too. They just, it's 25 bucks. But I love that he's made out of this rubber, you know? Okay, so I'm gonna put Triclops back and I'm gonna pick up this thing figure. He's just too cool to pass up. Uh, Triclops, I will pick him up another time. Maybe not here. Maybe I'll get them online. Maybe I'll get them at another store or a toy show, but I'm just gonna put them back for today and pick this up instead. Uh, All right, he so we're, want it to be destroyed. Well, we're checking on it. It fell off the shelf, he said. <laughs> Let me see it. Uh, maybe I'll... I just glued. <laughs> hmm. He is a really cool yeah. monster, yes. I know, right? Nothing else like super glue is <laughs> Right? I mean, I would just have him on display, exactly. you know? Um, and I could maybe potentially just, if you were gonna. All right, well. I bought the broken Metlar. Um, it was crazy. So I went up to the desk and I asked him, I said, uh, hey, I said, I know this is a long shot, but I was in here a while back and chances are you probably sold this thing already, but you had an inhumanoid Metlar. Do you know if it's like in the back or somewhere? And he was like, yeah, he goes, we still have it. And I was like, get out of here. He's like, no, it's, 
in the back. So he goes back and he asks the lady and you kind of heard some of the conversation, but it fell off the shelf and it broke. So they originally wanted $184 for it. And he's like, if you want it at a, at, at a really steep discount, I'll give it to you. I said, what kind of discount are we talking? He said, 20 bucks. So I was like, I'll take it. So I know that like it has no real re resale value at this point because it is broken, but I want this thing for my collection. And for 20 bucks, knowing that I can probably just kind of glue his head on and glue some of the broken pieces back together, it was worth getting it for $20. So let's head back home and see if we can piece this guy together a little bit and uh, make him worthy of being able to be on display in my bunker. All right, well, we're back home. So I'm gonna go sit down at the kitchen table and start seeing if I can piece this guy back together and get him in some sort of displayable order. Like my goal is to at least get his head back into place and maybe patch up some of the, uh, the broken armor, but we'll see. Anyway, let's get to it. So these were like the broken pieces that were in this bag that they gave me. Um, and then these pieces right here, these were actually down inside him like down in there. So I, I'm guessing there were pieces that broke off on the inside because I don't see where they broke off outside. But it's gonna be hard to tell, but you can see like right here, there was a chip, there was a crack. I've actually, you can see a little bit of the glue shine right there. Um, I've already pieced, uh, fixed that, put that back together. He is missing this piece of armor right here. And I don't see where any of these pieces actually fit. So that might be lost. But then on his head, this piece right here was broken off completely. And I glued this back on, this is missing. And then this piece was already here. And these are what actually allow him, you know, when you put his head on, you put it in twist, and then it like locks him into place. So I'm still kind of messing with it, but uh, we'll take a look at it here in a few minutes when I've got it like mostly back together. Well, here he is, the 1986 Hasbro in Humanoids Metlar. Holy cow, is this thing awesome. I was able to get his head back on. I wasn't able to fix all the broken pieces like he's got a piece up here on his shoulder you can see there's like a little chip missing i wasn't able to find the the chip to fit in that little puzzle piece and glue it back together but that's okay we can just pretend he's got some battle damage because i'm sure this guy has done quite a bit of battling but man how freaking awesome is this thing for twenty dollars a $184 toy that I got for 20 bucks because it was broken and I was willing to take a little bit of time to piece them back together. Old Doc Burfield putting his patients back together. But man, this thing is super cool. What's even more awesome is that when the sunlight hits his horn, his teeth actually light up red. I had him in the sunlight earlier today super super cool it's not doing it so much here but when that sunlight hits it these things just glow radiantly he's got this battle armor on he's got these gripping claws the better to shred his opponents his enemies apart with but oh my gosh, this thing is so cool. And it's so big, it's like over 12 inches. It is such a magnificent piece, man. Check out the guns on that guy. He's got some scales up here on his shoulders. Yeah, this guy is freaking awesome. Well, there you have it. Your boy Burf did a little handiwork, something I'm not really used to but I uh, was able to piece them back together and get them in some sort of displayable order. And uh, I'm very happy with the end results. Sure, he isn't perfect, but hey, you know what? Most of my toys aren't. And the fact that I got that dude for 20 bucks 
I'll take that all day long. So as long as, you know, I could at least put them back together somewhat and we proved that we could. So very, very happy with it. And how crazy is it that after all these months, he was actually still at the store, but he was busted up, broken in the back and nobody wanted him. Nobody wanted to love on him, but your Burr, your boy Burr, he decided that, hey, you know what, man? You're gonna come home with me. I'm gonna patch you up, old Doc Burfield, patching up his patients, so. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I'm very happy with that score. So hey, if you're enjoying watching this content as much as I'm enjoying making it for you, do me a favor, smash the subscribe button and turn on notifications. So you're always first to be notified of the next episode. Also like and comment on this video. Let me know what you think of my handiwork. Also, let me know in the stores today, was there anything in there that you would have picked up had you been there along with me? Give me a follow on Instagram and Tiggity Talk at 80s Toys Rock and Rock is spelled R-O-C. In the meantime, I'll catch you on the flip side.